Hello everyone, my name is Nahan Unnabi and I'm from Morocco from the Research Center of Mahmoudia School of Engineers at Mohamed V University in Rabat. Uh, here are the outlines of my uh, presentation. First, I will start with an introduction, then I will move on to the literature review, then the configuration models and technical economic analysis. After that, the results and discussion parts. And finally, I will end with conclusions and perspectives. The problematic of the research paper lies in the integration of renewable energies into the grid. The amount of energy produced from the renewable energy sources over time depends on the meteorological conditions of the reason chosen, the season, the relief, etc. So variable power and then guaranteed energy produced by renewable sources implies intermittence of the grid. This will require a solution based on an economic compromise. So the key lies in supply sources integrated to a hybrid system. So what is a hybrid system and how to establish the economic compromise between inexpensive energy and the maintenance of the stability of the grid? As we can see, a hybrid system is an electrical system comprising more than one energy source, among which at least one is renewable. The objective being to combine complementary technologies. The aim of a hybrid system is to satisfy the demand for a load from renewable sources, injecting it with conventional sources if there is a deficit, thus minimizing fuel consumption and the intermittence of the grid. So where classifications according to well-defined parameters have been suggested in the literature, the sections of the following diagram describe in detail the classification of each entity. Hybrid system can be classified according to uh, operating regime, system power, system content. As consist definitions, off-grid can be described as a standalone system. In the other hand, one grid is a grid size system. However, hybrid system combines the two. They can be described as an off-grid system with backup power or as a system connected to a grid with an additional battery storage. This part we deal with recent associations of hybrid renewable energy systems, including familiar combinations. Not all the configurations referenced in the paper are included in the presentation. The most important and seated systems are given to have an overview. Wind and the photovoltaic sources are one of the cleaner forms of energy conversion. They, they are used in many applications, but due to their non-linearity, hybrid energy systems are proposed to overcome this problem with important improvements. Using the SOE, this section examines the technical economic feasibility of several hybrid renewable energy systems. It considers several factors, including the original investment costs, also inputs such as, such as uh, operating and maintenance expenses, incentives, and the availability of resources. Um, it is calculated using uh, this uh, equation. This table shows us a comparison of electrical power generated by the various scenarios it is taking into consideration the cost of each scenario's electrical output. As we can see, and due to reduced power uh, production costs, hydropower has been uh, the most cost effective option compared to other sources. For example, by comparing hybrids between diesel and solar PV diesel uh, that have SOEs respectively 0.45 and 0.46 dollar per kilowatt watt hour, hybrid uh, hydro diesel has an SOE of uh, uh, 0.22 kilowatt hour dollar per kilowatt hour, making it financially viable. It's also worth mention mentioning that hybrid systems that rely on local biogas resources as a backup have the potential to save money compared to diesel generators, which are reliant on fewer prices. This presentation of the review paper was able to cover a wide range of points. The study demonstrated that hybrid system aimed to fix the intermittent and high upfront costs of the deploy renewables alone. And uh, due to reduced production costs, hydropower has been the most cost effective option compared to other sources. Hybrid renewable energy system um, are compressing, uh, compromising configurations used for a range of applications, including electrification, uh, water pumping, and telecommunication. In uh, the other hand, the downside is that the system is more complicated than a single source system when there are numerous sources and storage units. In this situation, an energy management control is needed to control the power supply, resulting in a more dynamic global chain. The present work can therefore be used as a basis for a future analysis and optimization study of the said energy manager control. The results of uh, this study provide also a solid beginning point for more in-depth research on uh, optimum design models, which um, 
uh, which may help speed up the implementation and uh, minimize the cost of long-term electrical supply, especially in remote um, location. Thank you for your attention.